Sanders. I'm with some of Daniel's finest, Daniel Colson and Connor Rogers. Lads, how are we? Never better. How, how long would you rather spend your mother's day? Big clash in the MCG. D's taking on the Saints. Saints are confident. And they should be. They've been in pretty good form this year, despite last week. D's by 10 goals. <laughs> You're going the D's by 10 goals. Is that your official tip? I, I think so. I think you're going to absolutely prove home here. Yeah, I think the Saints have improved, but they're nothing on the D's. Just quickly, to be a bit more inclusive of everybody, were you at all uh, tempted to, when you wrote pie and chips, offer to a vegetable pasty and chips? I think that might be the follow-up. I think that, I think you need to. I think that's... You don't want to be exclusive of the vegetarian. I think that's single number two. Um, D's, I'm going to go by 20 points. I reckon it's going to be a bit of a... Bit of a nothing contest. I feel like it's going to be low scoring. I think the D's defensively will hopefully stop the Saints uh, that chain of handball that they get going. And I reckon it could just be a bit of a nil all game, but the D's edge them. Yep, I think I think it will be an absolute ripper for the first half. The D's play away. I like it. I like it. Big test here at the G. About to kick off soon. Come on, D's. Happy Mother's Day. Bugs has kicked the D second. We're off to a bit of a fly here, 11 point lead. We're looking like the superior team. I know it's only about 30 minutes in, but we're up and about at the minute. Ominous signs for the Saints. Uh, this could really undo their whole season. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trent Rivers on the left from 55, and the D skip out to a three goal lead, first three goals of the game. This is the start we were really wanting, and the start I sort of expected. I expected a bit of fast start, but they're going inside again. When you're letting Trent Cozzy. Rivers. Cozzy. Oh, Cozzy. Cozzy. He's on fire, the boy! He Does he pick it? Fire. He's on here at the MCG. Uh, it is a clinic. It is a clinic. Four goals to nothing to start the game. I was going to say, like, it's not like we've got heaps of behinds or we've missed chances. But it's been a nothing first quarter, but I feel like we should be further in front. Well, it's been nothing just because you haven't allowed them the opportunity to be something. Yeah. Your soul. Well, quarter time here at the MCG, and the D's are up by a couple of goals. They kicked the first four of the match. Harrison Petty oh, saved one be. right on yeah. quarter time, touching it on the line. Can't complain with the start. It's a fast start, and hopefully we can continue it into the second term. Come on, D's. Big Benny Brown has kicked the first one of the second term. Little lob through ball over the top. I want to, ideally, you win by 20 goals and Ben Brown doesn't get a touch because we want something weed. We love the weed. The we love the weed. He's out of Casey today, hopefully putting in a bit of a, a, bit of a shift. Uh, Ron Marshall answers Benny Brown's goal with a snag. It is the first goal for the Saints. Ron Marshall was probably... It was, it was the rucks I was probably the most conscious of coming into this game. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owen. Owen who? Oh, when the Saints go marching in. <laughs> well, they're marching in now in the second term. They're underway. So, um, yeah, they needed that one. It's a bit of a steadier, and it's back down to 23 points. Come on, Tommy. Dead eye dick, Tommy Mack. He was happy with it as well, wasn't he? Go, James. Halfway through the second, Gussie Brayshaw goes bang from 50. And it's out to 35 points. It's the perfect start. The Saints really got to get a wriggle on soon. I know they have the good third quarters, but they'd want to start yeah, get, getting it going soon. Grant, Tom McDonald doing some roving, snapping them across the body and putting us out to a 47-point lead start halfway through the second. Good news for Tasmania, though, because they finally found their team, St Kilda, being relocated is what I'm hearing. <laughs> here at the MCG, and the Ds are up by 35 points. They started really well in that second term. The Saints kicked a couple of late ones. Now, we know they love a bit of a barnstorming third quarter, but I feel like if we, this is probably the quarter to cement the win. If we can play the way we did in the second term in this third and sort of stop the Saints from getting on a bit of a run on, I feel like we're home and hose, but really surprising start. I expected a little bit better for the Saints. Absolutely pumped. They're up by 35 points, but still a long way to go in this game. Come on, Dees. Maxi King to reduce it to five goals. The third quarter, Saints have rocked up. From Fritter lining up end to end, and Max King's going to have a shot. This is a massive momentum shift for the Saints. Maxi King, he's kicked it. Saints are back. No, it's, it's 22 points, halfway through the third. It's the momentum. We, we really need a bit of a settler here. 
Saints it'll are, come. Saints are playing some good footy. Well, when you're playing league footy and you're a top forward team, there's always going to be the momentum shift. Simon Goodwin says that all the time. He says there will be patches no matter what game there is where you're on the back foot. So that's all right. You'll cop this. I think it'll all have their time in the sun, but then uh, you'll be back and back getting the beautiful tan in no time. Benny Brown kicks his third and a bit of a settler for the days. He's just so consistent, Ben Brown. Like, he might seem like he's having a bit of a quiet one and he's put three through the big sticks without really enforcing himself on the contest. I absolutely love it. Chilly conditions here at the G and the, the feet are bat battling the elements. I've gone full Jesus mode and uh, not one of the better decisions I've ever made if we're being brutally honest. Three quarter time here at the MCG. <laughs> the D's 65, the Saints 37, one term to go. You'll skip away here, you feel, I think. I think that's an accurate uh, prediction. That third term, they were pretty good, so it all comes down to this. Alex Hill Bull and lining up for the D second of the last term. It's skinny, it's hit the post. Marcus Winhager, if you don't mind. No, he doesn't play league footy, that's, they've got that wrong. They pulled that from the local area. Who is Marcus Winhager? <laughs> oh, whoever Windy. he is, he's kicked a good snag there, to be fair. Wendy Hay. Row Marshall from downtown, directly in front. It's great off the boot, two in a row to the Saints. Yeah. Come on, Cozzy. This to put the nail in the coffin, to put a bit of icing on the cake. Can't, Cos. Measured approach, leans back. The boys are home, come on! The arms has gone forward for the last couple of minutes of the final term. He's lining up for his second. Some nice junk time stuff here from James Harms. Harms! Yes, Harms! It's a high five, but it's the emblem for me and for you. It's the emblem of the team we love. The D's 14, 9, 93, get over the Saints, 8, 7, 55. They didn't really fire a shot, the Saints. It was over halfway through the second. And it's a pretty handy win, 30 on. Oh, yeah, 30, 35,000. 35,000, I reckon they've added an extra 10 <laughs> under that. They reckon 35,000 were here. 35,000 have seen the D's get up by 38 points. And we're back on top of the ladder at the end of round eight, eight and zero. We're one win off equaling, equaling last year's nine and zero, and then two wins off beating it. And we got West Coast next week over in Optus, so really good platform for the rest of the season. Really impressed with the win, and uh, yeah, happy day. Yeah! Oh, about to step foot on the hello turf. There we go. On the real stuff. Just where the battle's been taken, right in the middle of the MCG. Where Benny Brown was absolutely slotting them. Just as good as it gets. Sunday Arvo. Done and dusted for another week. Feels a bit funny walking out with the ground in broad daylight. Um, usually walking out when it's, I don't know, about 11 p.m. after a Thursday or, or Friday or Saturday game. Um, the D's have got the Chockeys, eight and zero. It's as good a start to the season as we could have asked for. Um, I, th I thought the Saints would come today. I'm a little bit, it must have been because of the tough game up in Cairns last week or whatnot, but I thought the Saints would have came a little bit stronger today, but I think that speaks volumes on the professionalism of our football club. Um, eight and zip, happy days. I appreciate everyone tuning in. I appreciate everyone watching the content and I'll see you all for some more videos very soon. Cheers.